Introduction to Metabolism Biological Oxidation So, uh, what is metabolism? Metabolism consists of uh, two processes. This is a catabolism and a anabolism. anabolism. So, catabolism is a breakdown of larger molecules to smaller ones or to monomers, we say, or some metabolites. The anabolism is a synthesis of larger molecules from monomers or from some metabolites. So, together we call this is a metabolism. Here we see the uh, good uh, scheme of the degradation of main nutrients as proteins, carbohydrates and fats. So uh, these uh, main nutrients they degradate by three stages. Stage 1 it's a gastrointestinal tract. Stage 2 this is a cytosol. And the stage 3 this, this uh, takes place this stage in mitochondria. So in stage one, uh, in gastrointestinal tract, the main nutrients they degradate to uh, monomers, monomers. So proteins degradate to amino acids, carbohydrates to uh, monosaccharides, and fats uh, triacylglycerol. Uh, this is a to glycerol and two fatty acids. So then they absorbs to uh, bloodstream and from bloodstream uh, transfers to uh, cells to cytosols in cytosol so uh, monosaccharides mostly they turn to glucose form as uh, galactose fructose if not uh, they should be turned to glucose form in uh, in uh, in a liver so uh, in stage 2 in cytosol, uh, glucose uh, by glycolysis process turns to pyruvate uh, and uh, glycerol uh, to uh, pyruvate 2 and fatty acids. They transfer by a carnitine shuttle mechanism to mitochondria and uh, in mitochondria degrades by beta oxidation and gives acetylcoenzyme A. Uh, amino acids. <coughs> Amino acids, uh, they, they are 12, 20 alpha amino acids, they degradate by many ways. Um, a few of them could be turned to pyruvate, few of them to acetylcoenzyme, some of them to the metabolites of citric acid cycle. So, uh, and these ways, uh, from uh, gastrointestinal tract, to monosaccharides or monomers and to pyruvate or to pyruvate and acetylcoenzyme A and amino acids pyruvate acetylcoenzyme A and the metabolites of citric acid cycle so these are we call specific ways of the catabolism and starting from pyruvate to acetylcoenzyme A and from acetylcoenzyme A whole citric acid cycle this is a uh, main ways of the catabolism So bioenergetics, bioenergetics or uh, biochemical thermodynamics deals with the study of energy changes in biochemical reactions. The reactions are broadly classified as uh, energy releasing or energy consuming, exogenic and uh, endogenic reactions. Bioenergetics is concerned with the initial and final states of energy component of the reactants. Free energy. The energy actually available to do work is known as free energy, delta G. Changes in the free energy are, avail are valuable in predicting the feasibility of chemical reactions. The reaction can occur spontaneously if they are accompanied by uh, decrease in free energy. Enthalpy, delta H. So during a chemical reaction, heat may be released or absorbed. Enthalpy is a measure of the change in heat content of the reactants compared to products. Entropy. Entropy, entropy represents a change in the randomness or disorder of reactants in the products. 
the relation between the change of free energy entropy and entropy is expressed uh, below in equation. So here T uh, is a temperature in Kelvin and uh, the term standard free energy represented by delta G is often used. It indicates the free energy change when the reactants or products are are at a concentration of one mole per liter at pH 7.0. Uh, high energy compounds. The term high energy compounds or energy uh, rich compounds is usually applied to uh, substances which possess sufficient free energy to liberate at least 7 calorie mole uh, at uh, pH 7.0. And uh, here you see the table of the uh, compounds, uh, high energy, energy rich compounds, energy rich compounds uh, uh, as a ATP, here you can see, uh, and others, acetyl phosphate, phosphenol pyruvate, the phosphoglyceric acid. Uh, synthesis of uh, ATP. Synthesis of ATP, so uh, it could be synthesized ATP by two ways, by oxidative phosphorylation <coughs> and the substrate level phosphorylation. Oxidative phosphorylation, this is a major of source of major source of ATP in aerobic organis organisms. It's linked with the mitochondrial electron transport chain. Substrate level phosphorylation. Here, ATP may be directly synthesized during substrate oxidation in the metabolism. The high energy compounds such as um, succinyl coenzyme uh, from cyclic acid cycle yeah, can transfer high energy phosphate to produce ATP. Biological oxidation. Uh, Oxidation is defined as the loss of electrons in the reduction as the gain of electrons. Uh, redox potential is a quantitative measure of the tendency of a redox pair to lose or gain electrons. The redox pairs are assigned specific standard redox potential at pH 7.0 and 25 degrees. Here you can see some standard redox uh, potential of some oxidation reduction systems or couples, redox couples NAD and ADH2 minus 0 0.32 FAD, FADH2 and the ends with uh, 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 synthesizing of water 0 0.82. So here we see the numbers. So what is this number? The more negative redox potential represents the greater tendency to lose electrons. On the other hand, uh, a more positive redox potential indicates a greater tendency to accept electrons. The electrons flow from a redox pair with more negative uh, redox potential to another redox pair with more positive electron potential. So it means electrons flows from NADH2 from this part to the ending, to this part, in this direction. <coughs> Here you see electron transport chain. So this is the inner membrane of the mitochondria. And uh, we see here a uh, multi-enzyme complex of electron transport chain uh, with FMN, coenzyme Q, B, cytochromes B, C1, C, A, A3. And later we talk about ATP synthesis, synthesis of ATP by hydrogen ions. Oxidative phosphorylation. The transport of electrons through the uh, electron transport chain is linked with the release of free energy. The process of uh, synthesizing ATP from EDP and the uh, inorganic phosphate coupled with the electron transport chain is known as oxidative phosphorylation. The PO rich refers to the atoms of phosphate utilized to the atoms of oxygen consumed in oxidation. Mechanism of oxidative phosphorylation. 
chemical coupling hypothesis and the chemiosmotic hypothesis. According to chemical coupling hypothesis, during the course of electron transfer in respiratory chain, a series of phosphorylated high-energy intermediates are first produced, uh, which are utilized for the synthesis of ATP. However, this hypothesis lacks experimental evidence, since all attempts so far to isolate any one of the high-energy intermediates have not been successful. Chemiosmotic hypothesis. Uh, this mechanism, originally proposed by Peter Mitchell in 1961, uh, it's now widely accepted. Uh, it explains how the transport of electrons through the respiratory chain is effectively utilized to produce ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphate. Here, proton gradient, uh, so the inner mitochondrial membrane as such is impermeable to protons and uh, hydroxyl ions. The transport of electrons through electron transport chain is coupled with the uh, translocation of protons across the inner mitochondrial membrane from the matrix to the intermembrane space. So this is illustrated here. Uh, the pumping of protons results in, a, in an electrochemical or proton gradient. This is, um, this is uh, due to the accumulation of more hydrogen ions on the outer side of the inner mitochondrial membrane than the inner side. So, uh, so by the movement of hydrogen ions, we see uh, the uh, uh, ATP synthesized.